As things currently stand right now, the Minnesota Timberwolves are number one in the Western Conference and are undefeated when they play at home. There are a multitude of reasons why this Timberwolves team are excelling this season compared to last season where they weren't really that good. So you may be asking, how are the Minnesota Timberwolves doing so good compared to last season? Well, in today's video, we'll be breaking down the three reasons why the Timberwolves have been playing so good, and we'll be doing this by breaking down some film and looking at some numbers you probably haven't seen before. But before we get into today's video, as I say in every video, make sure you smash a like button until your phone stops working and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Let's get right on to the first reason why the Timberwolves have been playing insane. So the first reason really has to do with Rudy Gobert and Carl Anthony Towns really finding a way to mesh together well because last season it didn't really seem like they were playing good together. And even this season, Carl Anthony Towns hasn't had the best of starts. He wasn't too efficient. He wasn't scoring like he was last season. But in the last three games, it really looks like he has a shift in the way he plays. And more specifically, in the last three games, Carl Anthony Towns is averaging 24 points per game, 7.3 rebounds, 5.3 assists, while shooting these 24 points at a 62.5 field goal efficiency. That's wild. And the Twin Tower alongside him, Rudy Gobert, has been also stepping up. And in the last three games, he has been averaging 15.3 points per game, 9.7 rebounds, and 2 blocks per game. And he's really looking like a defensive candidate again. But let's make some sense out of these numbers. How are both Rudy Gobert and Carl Anthony Towns playing better on both the offensive side and defensive side of the court than they were last season? Well, we're going to break down some film right now and really answer this question and first we're going to start off on the offensive side of the court and really talk about spacing on this play carl anthony towns gets the ball in the left block once he gets the ball he hits kevon looney with a jab step and this gives him enough room to go into the paint but what even allows this is the spacing that rudy gobert is giving carl anthony towns He's making sure he's on the right side of the court and dragging Dario Saric on him. And by the time the defender even helps, Carl Anthony Towns has enough room to go up there and finish. But if you thought this play was cool, wait till you see the next one. On this play, the Minnesota Timberwolves are bringing the ball down in transition, and I realized that both Rudy Gobert and Carl Anthony Towns are clogging up the paint. So to fix this issue, all Carl Anthony Towns does is that he runs right back to the right wing to get himself a wide open three-pointer. I think Carl Anthony Towns is finally getting used to playing this power forward position next to Rudy Gobert. You're not going to be able to just stand in the paint like Rudy Gobert does, so you're going to have to space the floor and really be a stretch big to be effective next to Rudy Gobert. Now let's move on to the second reason why the Timberwolves have been playing so good, and this is sheer drop coverage. And Rudy Gobert Bears defense has been one of the biggest reasons why they have been a scary team to come up against. Everyone makes fun of this guy, but when you're playing against him, it's a different story. So let's break down some film on his drop coverage. On this play, the Philadelphia 76ers are setting an off-ball screen for Tobias Harris, but when Tobias Harris gets the ball, Rudy Gobert is playing drop coverage so that he could both guard Paul Reed if he slips and guard Tobias Harris. So when Tobias Harris runs right at Rudy Gobert, Rudy is already there to change his shot and make it impossible to score the bucket. But this second play is where things get very hilarious. On this play, Tyrese Maxey is running right by Anthony Edwards, which causes him to once again have to deal with Rudy Gobert in the drop coverage. But he doesn't attack Rudy Gobert this time because he knows what's going to happen. So instead of challenging Rudy Gobert in the paint, Tyrese Maxey just tosses the ball to Patrick Beverly, and Patrick Beverly misses the three-point. So once again, guys, having a player like Rudy Gobert there just changes everything on the defensive side, and it's kind of like Brooke Lopez on the Milwaukee Bucks. Nobody's going to drive on him. And finally, to finish the video, we got to talk about Anthony Edwards. This guy dropped 31 points, 6 rebounds, 6 assists, and 2 steals against the Philadelphia 76ers last night. And I've been saying it, last year, I knew he was going to turn into the superstar player of the season. He's averaging 26 points, 6 rebounds, and 5.1 assists per game. And just having Rudy Gobert and Carl Anthony Towns alongside Anthony Edwards is so dangerous because you run so many pick and rolls. Like, it's almost impossible to guard. But that's been all for today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. But if you want to see more about Anthony Edwards and an in-depth breakdown, make sure you click these next two videos up here.